Welcome to the Men Forge Podcast. Thanks for being here. I'm your host, Cartwright Morris. Got a great episode today. But if this is your first time, go over to mentorforge.com, find out more information about my services and how I can help you advance into your purpose. So that's mentorforge.com. Well, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I'm doing something that I haven't done in a while, but um, I like doing this from time to time. Kind of give a little take on pop culture, um, things in film that I learn of, of anyone who knows me. I'm a big uh, movie buff, love quoting movies, love engaging in movies, thinking through, seeing the story behind the story, um, as well as like just, yeah pop culture type stuff. I think I did one on the NFL this past year. Um, But things, and this is kind of the title, what I learned from blank. And today, (laughs) this may sound funny, but what I learned from Tangled. Great Disney flick. If any of y'all haven't seen it, recommend it. And I'm going to tell you why in fourfold. But I'll give a little backstory. I was taking care of my nieces um, this past weekend, spending time with them, and they wanted to watch the movie Tangled. And we put it on, and as I was cooking, cleaning, and watching, I was like, dang, this movie's good. It's got some gold. To the point where when I actually got the chance to actually sit down and watch the whole thing, (laughs) the next day, I got me and my wife watched it, a little Sunday afternoon flick. Um, Thought I was taking a nap during it, but I didn't because I was so engaged. So, um, what's the first thing? Well, the first thing I would say is what I learned from Tangled is every good adventure starts with a dilemma, right? Before she officially leaves the palace, there's a funny little bit. She's going back and forth of, wow, this feels amazing, free, but also I'm disappointing my mother. I'm withholding, uh, yeah, that I'm, I, I'm disappointing or disobeying whatever that language is that we use to hold ourselves back, that little mental block that we have, but yet we're experiencing something that was free. Um, I think a life in a lot of ways, there's always a cost to, especially an adventure. There's always something that we are not doing. There's consequences that could happen from doing something. But at the end of the day, what do we get in return? Because that's at the end of the day. And for her, there was freedom. And I think that's before... We make a big decision, an adventure, start a new job, uh, start a business. There's always that dilemma of, well, I'm leaving security. I might be disappointing someone uh, to go pursue this thing. And at the end of the day, that's what the adventure is about, um, pursuing a relationship. Somebody you've been friends with a long time. And you're like, well, I lo- there's a very good chance I could lose a friendship if I choose to uh, want more to ask for more than just a friendship. But then on the other hand, I could get an actual relationship with a person that I have very strong feelings for, right? I think a good adventure, driving across the country, even going on the weekend, like going fishing, going hunting, going mountain biking. Well, um, you know, I worked all week. I'm pretty tired. But what I get in return, oh, the feeling of being outdoors, uh, experiencing rest, rest for my soul versus just rest for my body. So uh, I really like that little part where there was the, the very human interaction, even though they did it in a very funny way, of every good adventure starts with a dilemma. Uh, the next thing, which kind of leads into, is we actually you get a really good sense of what abuse is. Um, I <laughs> You know, I don't know what these writers are. I probably should have looked up who they were because it's really fascinating um, of the manipulative language that this, um, her so-called mother, right? By the way, I probably should say hashtag. There's some spoilers. (laughs) FYI, I mean, the movie's been out for over 10 years. Come on, people. Um, Which makes me more of a fan of Mandy Moore. Unfortunately, my wife got me into This Is Us, and it's really good. That's another one that's really good. They make you ask really good life questions. Anyway, but Mandy Moore is pretty great. She's the voice of, the, of Rapunzel. So so I would say, so yeah, what abuse looks like. Uh, manipulation, 
gaslighting, I think it's one of the term the the uses there. The feeling of uh, love will be withheld if you do something. That's manipulation. That's not real love. But you know, abuse generally looks like that. I mean, some of y'all know the difference between trauma A, trauma B, or big T trauma versus little t trauma. And you see in this is really like there's this little T, and it's what it is is the things that are withheld that you needed love, attention, interaction that she is for her own benefit is using language that is for her benefit that she stays in that tower the rest of her life. Now it's for your safety. What really is is for her benefit, and we should be able to recognize that in our relationships and call it out for what it is. Um, manipulation. Some people are really good at it, and you gotta. We have to start learning discernment and recognizing. I, I feel like I've learned it at a later age. When people use these things like love, care, safety to manipulate us for their own benefit. So, you know, abuse isn't necessarily direct or uh, violent or physical, right? It can be very uh, manipulative, um, withholding. Um, So that was the the second thing. Third thing, uh, the pursuit of dreams, taking massive action in our life is generally twofold. There's really two fears connected to them. And I love that they do this in the boat. And I think it's in a song too. Or maybe it was before the song. I can't remember. But anyway. <laughs> um, which I found out was my wife's favorite Disney song. So if any of y'all know that and agree with that, please leave a comment. Um, but yeah, so it's it's just so... it's. I was fascinated that, wow, they really connected with this human experience. I think this is why we love Disney films. Just these writers really do a great job of... If she basically, it's right before she has this dream scenario, her whole life, she's been wanting to see the lights, to see um, the lanterns, right, go up in the, in the sky. And what she gets, and so, but she's right there before, it's like, um, you know, there's the fear of, Failure. There's the fear it's not going to be that good, that it's not going to live up to this expectation I've built. It's not going to be that great. Oh, I'm going to be disappointed at the end of it. That is a very real thing when we take a pursuit and we finally are standing at the, you know, at the, at the bed, at the footstool of our dreams and the things we've longed for, wanted for, right before, right? There's that, that fear, and we want to pull back and withhold because we don't want it, that fear. But then she also mentioned something else. The fear of what if it is everything I've ever wanted? Then something will have to change. I will have to be different. I have to think different. I'll have to approach life different. I can't have the security of my little tower in the middle of nowhere. And that language is so fascinating to me that it's really powerful that like, wow, that is a very human thing that when we stand at the threshold, that's the word I was looking for, (laughs) threshold of life, of the things we want, our pursuits, our dreams, our taking massive action in our life, that there are really those two fears, and we really have to address them, we really have to face them head on to really find out. Um, So I thought that was really powerful. And then the last thing, um, which spoiler alert, spoiler alert, the ending, his sacrificial love begets sacrificial love. Um, I think, you know, you, we can... Obviously, it's not as dramatized as it is in the movie. But, yeah, that when when she... Uh, he basically was... She, she was going to give up her freedom for him. If she could heal him, she would give up her freedom and not complain rest of her life, fully knowing now that she would be in prison the rest of her life, that she would experience physical bondage the rest of her life, she decided to give it up so that he could be healed. That sacrificial love right there. And then what happens in turn is he lays down his life for her. He cuts off her hair, knowing that she would be set free that laying down that sacrificial so that she would be free, but yet he would still die. 
like that. Granted, there's a happy ending, and I guess I won't spoil it for those, but it does work out. But anyway, but just the, that was such a beautiful moment that she was willing to lay down her freedom, her life for his, and in turn, he laid down her his life for her. Um, such a powerful moment. Um, it's something as a kid, you know, you just don't really recognize. Even, man, I think the first time I saw that, I was probably 25, 30, something like that. And and now watching, you're like, dang, that's really good. <laughs> well, anyway, if um, y'all like Tangled, please let me know. But also, any other Disney movies got some really good um, content, some really life lessons, some really human moments. Please let me know. You can email me at cartwright at mentorforge.com. Uh, these are the things we're forged by when we really recognize and willing to intentionally look at. Even through Disney movies, we can recognize these things. So, uh, <laughs> you can laugh. It's it's funny. You can laugh at me. I'm fine. I've <laughs> I've been laughed at for li- for liking less. So, um, but I just think it's a beautiful story. I do tell it well, and it's a fun watch. Even if you're with your nieces or just or with your wife or by yourself, go for it. Watch Tangled. It's fun. So, um, yeah, so go check out mentorforge.com, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to the Mentor Forge podcast. If you would go to mentorforge.com backslash the purpose journey, you find a new service that I'm doing that I'm really excited about. Um, as we're all kind of looking for more purpose in our life, in our relationships, in our business, and just the overall well-being. We all need that through line, that thing that gives us meaning and intentionality in everything we do. And I believe that is defining and discovering your purpose. So I created a two-hour coaching session. It's from my four-day workshop that I've able to will down to make it more unique to the individual. And you can sign up right now at mentorforge.com backslash the purpose journey. I look forward to hearing from you.